Hey Wildcats, welcome to One Day with Shay, and today we are at the International Wildlife Museum that has some amazing exhibits, so let's check it out. This is our insect room, and we have tons of different species of butterflies, moths, all sorts of insects. This room is the only room in the museum where we have our live animals. So we have a tarantula, uh, hissing cockroaches, and a centipede on exhibit, live ones, so yeah. The way tarantulas protect themselves is they have those hairs all over their abdomen, and when they're frightened by a predator or anything, they'll use their back legs and kick the hairs off into the predator's face. Does it have a name? She doesn't have a name. No, we haven't named her yet. Nameless tarantula. <laughs> yeah. And then these are our hissing cockroaches. They make the hissing sound by pushing air through their holes on their abdomen. So that's actually how they do it. It's another form of defense. They used to leave the bones inside the animal's skull and um, stuff the rest with like cotton or moss or some type of natural fiber. So they'd move through uh, paper mache and then fiberglass and then that last head is made out of the foam that they use now. Tigers will normally attack from the back because um, they don't like to attack from the front. Right. Uh, they like to sneak up on you. So people in India have actually worn wearing masks on the back of their head. So they have a face in front and a face in back oh, for wow. protection. Oh, wow. Okay. But tigers have kind of adapted to that too, where they now attack from the side. So they've gotten smarter as well. Wow. Yeah. This is actual human bones and actual miniature horse bones okay. put together. And um, centaurs, so they were half man, half horse. Right. And it kind of, this exhibit kind of wants to pose the question to you whether you think this is real or myth and let you guys figure that out for yourself. So this is the McElroy Room and CJ McElroy was the founder of our museum and this museum was built in 1988 so next year will be our 25th anniversary. Um, and this room right here is a replica of what his living room used to look like. Tiger right here is actually a man-eating tiger. So he was known to kill between eight and 12 people in India in the 1960s. So it's just a really great place to come because you can get up close to all sorts of different animals from all over the world. It's just a really fun outing. We're all inside, so it's nice and cool during the summer. So come visit the International Wildlife Museum. Hey Wildcats, thank you so much for tuning in to One Day with Shay at the International Wildlife Museum. As you can see, they have some wonderful things to look at in the museum from the mythological exhibit to the insect collection. So if you want to have some fun and learn something and be educational on your weekend, come to the Wildlife Museum. It's a great place. So have a great day, Wildcats, and tune in next week.